Welcome to C.11.1. Today we're going to identify molecules that are likely to show liquid crystal properties and explain their liquid crystal behavior on a molecular level. So here are just two examples. You'll, you'll notice that uh, what we want to recognize is that there is a hydrocarbon chain in both of them. There is a biphenyl group in both of them. And there is a nitrile group. And so that's how you would sort of recognize um, just in, in terms of the ones we're looking at in the IB. So what's a nitrile group for? Well, that actually makes the molecules polar. And what that will ensure that there are intermolecular forces that are strong enough to cause them to align, like we could see in the previous videos um, with the liquid uh, crystal phase. The biphenyl group is important because it's going to make our molecules more rigid and it's going to help ensure the, the sort of long rod shape. And then the hydrocarbon chain um, or the long chain alkane ensures that the molecules cannot pack together so closely um, and so they actually maintain the liquid crystal state. Uh, if they pack together too closely, uh, then put, for example, they might become a solid and you won't get that, uh, that sort of phase in between liquid and solid that's liquid crystal.